Self-care. We all know it's important, but are we making the time to actually do it? Yeah, for this week's Your Life, Your Health, medical specialist Emma Benson introduces us to an ER doc who says sticking to a regular routine helps him be his best self physically and also mentally. 406. That's the number of days in a row Dr. Adam Balls has exercised. Not missing a single day. But to him, it's more than just a streak. I think there's really um, a strong connection between how our bodies feel and how we feel within our own bodies, how comfortable we are, and how we see ourselves from a mental health standpoint. Over the years, the dad of three has faced his own set of mental health challenges. I've been in some pretty dark places. Experiencing trauma and death in the Air Force and his family and in his work in the ER. All these things kind of spurred me into, I think, action in my own personal life to say, you know, how do I become an advocate for mental health issues amongst our emergency department teams? But in order to do that, I needed to have my own mental health um, be as resilient and strong as possible. A year ago, he committed to daily exercise. Just 30 minutes, you know, that may have just been a cardio only, again, an incline walk on the treadmill at a moderate pace or a quick jog or a quick row on the rowing machine. Um, I found it doesn't necessarily matter as much the time as it does that I'm physically, you know, doing something active uh, each and every day. Now, after 406 days of his self-care routine, he's feeling healthier, both physically and mentally. It's really helped kind of put me in a different mindset, um, made me help, help me with the challenges that I face, the way I manage stress. Um, you know, the way I sleep at night, I've really made this a priority. I think it's been uh, a game changer for me personally. Able to better lead his team. I'm in a better spot to show up for them, uh, and we're in a better spot as caregivers to show up for our patients. Proving that finding a routine in something meaningful to you can bring out your best. Doing something that you love, whether it's a hobby, whether it's taking time for yourself to read a book, to, you know, see a new place, travel to see someplace you haven't seen before. It's really finding what's going to uplift us the most. For your life, your health. Emma Benson, KSL 5 News.